Have you ever wanted more pleasure in your life? Oh my goodness, you're in the right space. I'm still Rachel, and I've still been an intimacy coach for 10 years, and that has inspired me to do this series all year long. We're talking about ways to incorporate uh, pleasure and intimacy into everything that you do for yourself, but also partner relationship if you're interested. This month, we've been talking about literal content that I talk to my coaching clients about. Uh, no products necessary. Now, the thing I want to talk today, I've already talked about great length about the differences when it comes to foreplay needs. Um, if you've missed this video on um, very many occasions that I've talked about, this is a statistic that does not change. For penis owner bodies, there's 10 seconds of arousal that is typically needed to be ready for sex. It's not necessarily that the mental game is there, by the way. This is just a physicality. When we talk about physicality of a vulva owner, that's 18 to 24 minutes that are needed for this body to be fully preheated to a comfortable and enjoyable experience. That's the difference, okay? And that's actually what I want to talk about today is remembering that when we talk about foreplay, there is mental, spiritual, emotional, and physical foreplay. There's many forms of this. And the, the conversation I really want to bring up today is the fact that men, I believe, or at a detriment of experiencing the full capacity of pleasure and intimacy because of what they're taught. Culturally speaking, I believe that men are given the value of a relationship through physicality. So both like the actual physical look of a person, uh, but then just their body, like their breast and their tush and their vagina. I believe that they are conditioned to think that these are some of the most important things within a, within a relationship. Now, typically as people age in general, we all start to understand and see the value in deepening relationships. So what I have found in my experience is that as time progresses, men are going to start to need desire and want the emotional connection that they've always like sought after but didn't even know was like maybe important to them that starts to become more important later in life most importantly because physicality is always going to change unless you are somebody who's chasing a younger body all the time every five to ten years it is it's a necessity that we we are in radical acceptance that the physical body will age so when we can kind of set those things aside and also recognize that that is just the way the body looks, it doesn't change the reception to pleasure. It doesn't change the reception to uh, being touched and feeling pleased. That and nerve endings aren't going to change. Those will stay the same. So when we can start to separate just from that aspect, and, and it's not that women aren't driven by physicality, okay? It's just that we are conditioned to believe we are the emotional creatures. So it makes sense that when it comes to our needs, we're going to check more than just a physical box. We appreciate emotionalness. We appreciate spirituality. And we appreciate the mental game. We don't necessarily know that, but we do know that we feel more fulfilled, more turned on, and more desirable when all of those boxes have been checked. So to me, the end message of this video is just basically to fully encompass all the parts of intimacy for each and every one of us to have deep, meaningful, more successful sex in intimacy and pleasure. So I hope this was helpful information. Uh, please make sure to tune along. Uh, I'm sorry, tune in and like and subscribe for more because we'll be back tomorrow for the usual. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.